So I will say that one of the things that I used to be pretty insecure about as an educator, um, so to put this in context, I just graduated with my PhD um, over the summer. And after spending five years working on one niche problem, you're like, all right, well, I don't have a lot of usable skills. I just have a lot of knowledge about this one tiny problem. What, am I, what can I possibly teach? Um, and so I used to think about that a lot. Um, but something this class showed me was that actually just the ability to be entrepreneurial, the ability to be adaptable, the ability to be a facilitator, a communicator, a mediator between people, which I think were all huge parts of this class, um, was the most important thing in being an educator here. So it wasn't so much about knowledge of subject material or knowledge of a specific skill, but just the ability to facilitate learning which a lot of the times just comes down to knowing how to ask the right questions um, of what is needed at this moment to help my student learn and succeed and being able to answer that question. Um, yeah, so I didn't need to know the knowledge. I didn't need to have the skills, but I just needed to know where to find that knowledge and skills and be able to bring my student to that place. Yeah. Yeah, wow. Um, Sorry. No, no, no. Uh, so I, I think it's a, this is a, you know, a challenging question to answer, sort of uh, kind of what I learned in terms of teaching or being uh, an educator. Um, One thing I'd say, so I, I'm a current, I'm currently a PhD student, and so uh, this semester is a graduate instructor, and uh, it was a little bit unexpected, certainly, to be involved in teaching the course um, this uh, semester, and uh, to uh, try to carry on and extend the work that Seth Teller had done um, in this class was to me, sort of personally, a very um, monumental um, undertaking. So um, uh, yeah, I mean, Seth was my master's thesis advisor, and I worked on assistive technology um, with him and, and saw him teach the class the first time and gone to the, some of the classes and, and helped out in a little bit in the last uh, two years or three years um, as well. Um, so to sort of suddenly be um, uh, a co-instructor um, of the class uh, with Grace was um, kind of a, a sudden, almost kind of jarring kind of experience, yeah, so <laughs> a baptism of fire, <laughs> um, perhaps. So um, maybe there's 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 three things to say. One is it was you know immensely challenging. It is different from doing um, research, which is mostly what I'm doing as a PhD uh, student, even you know, working on projects with different people. You sort of have this kind of um, one level remove where suddenly, as Grace is talking about, you know, working with students and trying to um, encourage them in certain directions. And there's certainly some uncertainty associated um, with that, or whether they will um, take your advice, I guess, or whether you should nudge them further in this direction, or sometimes they surprise you, or you know, very often, frankly, they surprise you very pleasantly in terms of what they're able to accomplish um, over the semester. So how to kind of inspire or mentor um, students is really uh, something that, uh, that, that I learned over the uh, semester. Um, I think a part of this is that it was um, it was pretty emotional, I guess. I think maybe that's the right uh, word in terms of the the kind of the history um, of this class, the very personal nature um, of it. I think we got to know you know our thirty five students very well over the semester, and certainly um, uh, 
the clients as well, the 11 clients that we uh, worked with. And so you really kind of experience the ups and downs with, um, with the students over the course of the projects. And um, that's, you know, I think challenging sometimes or, you know, interesting to uh, experience. Um, I think the third thing I'd say is that it was, it was, it was in the end, very rewarding. I mean, to uh, see the results and see students excited about what they had done, um, to be able to um, work with a really um, great team of people all passionate about um, uh, the course. So the co-instructors and, and you know, our teaching and lab assistants who had taken the class before and really wanted to um, make this a positive experience um, for students. I think in a lot of sense it's pretty unprecedented. I don't know if I will ever do anything like this again for um, a fairly long time, I guess, in terms of sort of the meaningfulness and the, uh, the challenge and the kind of the, you know, personal side of it, um, I think. I, I might be waxing poetic, I guess, but I think, um, you know, it was really exciting to be able to put something uh, like this um, together. And for that matter, I think it's one reason uh, to, you know, try to share, you know, kind of our experience, our full experience, really, is the things that worked and things that maybe didn't work as well on something like OCW, almost, you know, warts and all, I suppose, in terms of what we tried and what was successful and what guidelines um, we might have to other educators. So I think, really, the focus of our class, or if we've delivered a good class this semester and, and provided a good learning experience for our students and our students have learned and taken away something from principles and practice of assistive technology this semester, then I think that's what we set out to do. If we can inspire educators and uh, students uh, elsewhere who might be interested in assistive technology or working in this space, if we can kind of let a thousand flowers bloom when it comes to um, assistive technology or the work that we're doing, then, then maybe we've done our job this semester.